I was asked multiple times to review Gorilla Mind Smooth. And finally, here's what I think about this nootropic supplement. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greg and I'm a brain hacker creating content that will help you upgrade your brain performance. And if that's interesting, you, then subscribe below and join our amazing community. Today, we're gonna talk about Gorilla Mind Smooth. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the potential benefits, side effects, dosages, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you if I recommend this nootropic supplement or not. So, Gorilla Mind Smooth is promoted as the best non-stimulant supplement for productivity. And it was specifically designed for people who are sensitive to caffeine. So yes, it does not contain any caffeine, which may be an advantage or a disadvantage. It kind of depends. Now, according to the information on their website, Gorilla Mind Smooth was developed to help you with mental clarity, with productivity, with creativity, with concentration, and even mood elevation. As a matter of fact, they said that you can get even up to eight plus hours of smooth focus. Well, despite the fact that I tried basically every single tropic supplement on the market, and I even combined them with super potent uh, smart drugs, I never experienced similar effects so far. So yeah, let's look at the ingredients to see uh, what kind of compounds in, in this nootropic supplement and see if you can really get so much focus and attention. So I checked all the ingredients for you and here is what you can find in Gorilla Mind Smooth. So first of all, they have tyrosine in. Tyrosine is a dopamine precursor, a great compound that can help you uh, if you're super stressed, for example. In the moments of high stress, this is a great compound to supplement. And the dosage of 750 milligrams per free capsules is a very good dosage, so no doubt about that. Then we have alpha GPC. Uh, alpha GPC is a potent calling compound important for memory and learning. And the dosage of 600 milligrams is quite high, but the quality of this compound is probably not the best uh, because it is a generic ingredient and not a branded ingredient. And most companies, most supplements actually contain a branded ingredient, so yeah, this is something you need to uh, be informed about. Then we have Kana. Kana is a less research compound that uh, may reduce anxiety, and because of that, it can improve your cognition. The problem is that we do not know the optimal daily dosage. Ginkgo biloba, a great compound, especially for people who are in the cognitive decline, for elderly, and it can help with memory, but also it can boost your blood flow. So if you're a healthy individual, this is not such an effective compound for you, but if you're a bit older, then this is really good and effective nootropic. We have Bacopa monieri. Bacopa monieri is great for improving memory. It is an adaptogen herb. I like it a lot. And the thing is with Bacopa, you need to take enough of it, of course, to get the promised benefits. And this is about 300 milligrams. However, we're taking three capsules uh, of this supplement, you do not get enough, it's slightly underdosed. You can take a hard dosage, but I'll talk about this soon. Then we have L-theanine. L-theanine is an amino acid, uh, great for uh, improving focus. And the 100 milligrams per day, it's a decent dosage, no doubt about it. But personally, I like to take a higher dosage. And we have Hooper's in A. Now, this is kind of a problematic compound because it inhibits an enzyme uh, that degrades uh, our learning transmitter. Uh, this is acetylcholine, so important for learning and memory. But there's one big problem, so Hooper's in A needs to be cycled. Um, the half-life of Hooper's in A is about 10 to 14 hours. So this means that even after 14 hours, you may have up to 50% of Hooper's in still in your uh, system, basically. This means it needs to get cycled every two to four weeks, but we don't know the optimal cycle period. So this is a bit problematic with this compound. And lastly, we have saffron. Saffron is a very potent antioxidant that I like a lot. By the way, guys, if you like this video, please press the like button below. Overall, this is a very good nootropic formula. It has some really good, really popular, really effective nootropics at a relatively high dosages, and I really like about it. And there are a couple of things I don't like that much about this supplement. So the ingredient quality is that worries me because there are no branded ingredients in, or at least I couldn't find them. So this is a bit problematic. Secondly, you need to regularly cycle Hooperzin A to be on the safe side. Kana is an under-researched compound, so we do not know the optimal daily dosage. And the dosages of some ingredients, like Bacopa monieri, are a bit too low. Now, of course, you can take six uh, capsules instead of three capsules, or you can take four or five capsules also, uh, that would work. 
and I'm totally fine with that. Now, of course, taking more capsules will increase uh, the product price, obviously, and it's a bit less convenient taking so many capsules, but it will do the trick. However, because there's such a high dosage of Alex the GPC uh, in this compound combined with Hoopers in A, I would probably stick to the free capsules and not take more than uh, three capsules per day. That's in my opinion, based on my research. By the way, guys, do you wanna know how well does your brain work? Get our free brain assessment, link in the description below, and get your brain score. Now, what about side effects? Can you expect any side effects from such a supplement? Well, I think, first of all, that this nootropic supplement is pretty safe. The dosages are good. Um, there are no sneaky compounds in besides uh, the unresearched kana, but that's something else. So overall, I think it's a pretty safe and non-toxic uh, supplement. However, because of very high dosage of a cholinergic compounds such as alpha GPC and Hooperzin, um, you may experience some issues, especially nausea, maybe some dizziness, sweating, maybe even diarrhea. Those kind of problems can happen, especially if you eat food that is high in choline, red meat, eggs, salmon, uh, chicken, etc. So if you eat too much or if you eat a lot of meat, then in this case, I recommend you start with a lower dosage um, just to be on the safe side and then you increase it to see what happens. And if you eat less of those compounds, then um, I think you're pretty safe here. So my final verdict, do I recommend Gorilla Mind Smooth or not? Well, first of all, keep in mind that Gorilla Mind Smooth is a very decent nootropic supplement that will deliver some of the benefits. It has very effective compounds in, and side effects are probably pretty rare. Um, so there is nothing to worry about. If you do take it, if you decide to supplement it, then I uh, just, you know, keep in mind, you need to cycle it. Probably every two to four weeks, uh, you have to stay at least a week off, um, but at least um, you know about that and you can avoid the potential side effects. Now, personally, I'll just stick to my favorite nootropic supplement of this year. And you can watch my full review of the supplement right here. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Follow your inception on Facebook, Instagram, and I hope to see you soon again.